Um, well, this piece is called Sequel, and it actually started. Um, my friend Kathy had an acorn that she planted in her garden about 12 or 13 years ago, and it grew into this oak tree. But it got too big for her garden, and it was taking away a lot of the light. She felt really quite bad about doing this, and so I said, "Well, if you cut it down, what if I make an artwork out of it, so it will actually not just get thrown away or turn into chippings, and it can be turned into something else?" So. That's why I've got this tree. Um, a lot of my work is about time and change and the passage of time and history. So with this work, what I'm trying to think about is knowledge and how knowledge changes over time and how the form of knowledge changes over time. So what I've done is I have, since January, I've been making thousands of oak leaves to attach to this tree. The oak leaves are all made out of reference books and these reference books I've collected from library sales, from charity shops, from friends donations. Um, and when you go into a charity shop or somewhere that's selling second-hand books, you'll find a lot of reference books. And I think that's because since the rise of the internet, we don't really need these books anymore. I know if I need to look something up, some facts, I'll go to a search engine. I won't go and look it up in a book. So a lot of these books are redundant and they're unwanted. So, one part of this piece is thinking about the idea of a tree of knowledge. So I've taken that literally and I'm, I'm turning that into the sort of the visual representation of the tree of knowledge. But at the same time, because this is a felled tree, it's about the passing of this kind of knowledge. So it's about the fact that books, reference books, are passing just as this tree passed. And this form of knowledge, the form of knowledge of books, is also on its way out and it's being taken over by the internet. It's about the way that trees are grown, trees are cut down to make paper, the paper is then turned into books, the books are then turned into an artwork, and the thing that comes next is the thing that we're seeing now, which is the rise of the internet. And presumably, someday, the internet itself will make way for something else. So it's about that arc through history and the way that knowledge is changing.